Greetings YouTube and welcome to today's crystal opening commentary, this time brought to you by Simply Infamo. I love that name and that is what the user is all about. You can see as we get some pixelation straightened out because via Dropbox it always takes a few seconds for whatever reason to really have uh, the crystals appear and then they do, right? He's popping four grandmasters to start, I think these are login crystals. You know, no big deal. In fact, this is exactly what I am used to opening when uh, it comes to the login crystals, but it's hard to complain about a free uh, crystal, even if it is just a three-star champion like 90% of the time. But then you go from login grandmasters to featured five stars, and you also have the unified, which he has saved for this opening. So we're talking weeks and weeks of saving. I have seen a lot of trash from this crystal and a lot of pretty good but very few amazing and Darkhawk would be one of the better ones I've seen and that is a first time Darkhawk for this Infamo user. Pretty dang impressive. He's infamous and Infamo. You know what I'm saying? Alright, now he's got one, two featured fives and 15,000 more if he wants to add a third, and he does indeed. So we are looking for, of course, one of the better featured champions in this Mysterio, Stealth Spidey, Sunspot at the very top, Void as well. And the first crystal is a rollover approximate midnight to land on approximate midnight. He has procs. Does he have her awaken? No. Well, worth 15,000 five-star shards? I don't think so, but certainly better than what he could do. Shout out to my girl Clairvoyant, Black Widow Clairvoyant to be exact. She is my favorite champion in the last six months. And uh, I'll be doing a separate video on her, talking about her utility against the Map 5 Hyperion Mini, hopefully in the next week. All right, Carnage is also an Awakening. Again, two solid champions, but for 30,000 five-star shards, I don't think that's worth it. Definitely could have saved that extra 10,000, but... Maybe at least he'll end it on a featured five-star champion. Come on, give him somebody good. And Sabretooth is a very solid champion. This is not a terrible opening. And it's not an amazing opening. It's just pretty good, you know? Prox and Carnage. But you, you get the new featured crystal to get the new featured champions. And he was 0 for 3 on those. Okay, this is a big deal. He said this was his first six-star crystal, even though he's level 60. He has never opened a six-star. I'm sure his heart was pounding like crazy looking at this thing. So, whew, so many trash six-star champs, so many good six-star champions, so many reasons to charge your phone. Uh, here we go. And... <laughs> What are the freaking odds you dupe your five-star procs in a featured five-star and then get a six-star procs? I don't know how you're supposed to feel about that. I've got a duped prox midnight as a six-star, and I never use her. I don't have anything against her. It just takes a really long time to actually ramp her up to the best of her abilities, and I'd rather just use somebody like Omega Red. Uh, he did say that he wanted to save his five-star class-based Awakening Gem for the last thing, so... That's kind of exciting, a little bit different to throw in a 5-star crystal, a 6-star crystal, and a 5-star class-based Awakening Gym. I'm not sure what class he was wanting, but he is landing on Skill. And Skill was certainly the class that I was hunting for when I opened Mutant, which I think is going to be safe for Neymar. Who does he even have to use that skill on? I don't know. Nobody knows. But he's looking for more reasons to open crystals. Couldn't find them, and so he ended the video. Uh, you know, it's it's an interesting crystal opening to commentate. It's all about Proxima in this, and I just think, while she's not terrible, she's pretty darn good, there are more misses than hits when you get Proxima, especially as a six-star, compared to somebody like a Ghost or a Corvus or a Domino, uh, even a champion that needs to be awakened and eventually, but you can just start them out like Void or Aegon or Captain America Infinity War. But uh, there you have it, YouTube. Would you be happy if this was you? Would you be happy with this crystal opening? Uh, I'm sure if you needed that skill awakening gem like I did, that might be what you were most happy about. I would certainly be most happy for that if it was on my account that I opened all of this. But of course it's not. This is a commentary and not a prof-hoff opening video.
Thanks again to Mr. Infamous or Infamo for passing this along via Dropbox. It is always a reliable way to get your video to me, especially if it's over five minutes long. Have a great day, YouTube. Thanks for watching.